Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to episode 5 of my Logic Pro 10 video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a special punch-in function called Quick Punch. Um, it used to be called Punch on the Fly in Logic 9, but they just they changed the name to Quick Punch or Quick Punch In in Logic 10. So what Quick Punch does is it, it works a lot like uh, Auto Punch did, what we looked at in the last video, uh, except we don't have to set a punch range. All we have to do is hit a key command, and it punches you into the recording, and then you hit another key, key command, and it punches you out of the recording. All right, so to turn on Quick Punch, you go up to Record, and then you make sure that Allow Quick Punch In is checked. Essentially what this option does is it allows you to start playback, hit R to punch in, and it does that without uh, disrupting the playback. When this is off, it will disrupt the playback. The session we're working with here is the same session we worked with back in episode 4, except that I've added a vocal melody to it. So let's listen to what we're working with. I finally fall away from darkness I'm guided by the light in your eyes I finally left this path of destruction It's killing me, it's killing me inside Yep, viewers, you guessed it, that was me singing. Uh, I'm not a very good singer, but I try. So these middle two sections here were really bad. They are really out of tune. Uh, the first phrase and the fourth phrase were pretty good, but pretty much the whole section between measure six and measure 14 uh, was just the pitch was off. The rhythm was fine. The pitch was off. And we've really got a lot of bad notes in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our quick punch to punch in uh, a new take from about measure six to about measure 14. And I'm going to do this on the fly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've already armed my track and what you do is you hit spacebar to start playback. You don't hit record, you just hit spacebar. So after I hit spacebar, I'm going to hit R to punch in uh, right at about measure six. I'm going to sing those two phrases over again, hopefully do a better job this time. And then to punch out, you hit shift R and I'm going to hit that somewhere around measure 14. So this gives you freedom to punch in and out on the fly wherever you choose. All right, that turned out pretty good, and uh, as you can see, uh, much like we saw on the previous episode, uh, when we punch in a recording on top of a pre-existing region, it creates a take folder for us. So you can see take two there in the middle, what I just sang, and then take one on the bottom. And just like in the previous video, I am going to use quick swipe comping to clean up our edit points just a bit. And it's pretty easy to edit here because there's a lot of space between uh, each phrase, so it makes editing pretty easy. Uh, this one's just a little too close to that word there, so let's pull it in the middle here. And then you just double click on the top and it uh, collapses all the takes into the take folder. And then the last thing we need to do is just consolidate this down to a new file. So you click on the A and go down to flatten and merge. Flattens and merges the two takes together as a new composite take. And we're done. So uh, let's just take a listen one more time to the final result. I finally fall away from darkness. I'm guided by the light in your eyes. I finally left this path of destruction. It's killing me, it's killing me. Okay, we're all set, and uh, sound the take sounds good. Sounds like a, uh, just a single flawless take, as if I never made the mistakes to begin with. Uh, and that's again, that's the goal here is to be able to create flawless composite takes uh, and do it relatively easily without having to re-record too much stuff. 
Um, I would have done this video as just another part of the previous episode, uh, but just the logistics of having to sing and on top of teach everything that I went over in the previous video uh, was, would have just been a headache. So I just decided to make this short video uh, just to cover this one topic. In the next episode, we'll talk about cycle recording, as well as wrap up some of the audio recording techniques that we didn't talk about here or in the previous video. So once again, thanks for watching.